Hi friends, in this video I'm going to do some basic introduction to binary operation. I'm going to introduce you to binary operation and I'm going to explain some properties of binary operation and some elements that we have. But uh, completing of video will be in a separate videos. Um, I mean, completing of table, yeah, completing of table will be in a separate videos. Now, as far as we need to start from the definition of binary operation, we say we are seeing binary operation. What is binary operation? In mathematics, we have something we call rules of combination. Rules of combini combining two sets together. That like is, rules of combining element A with element B, and it is going to equal to element C. We also have rules of combining two sets. Let's say um, we have a set of A, set A and also set B. You have no, those rules, they rely on binary operation. Then what is binary operation in sort? Binary operation is a, a binary operation, a binary operation is any rules, let's call it, is any rules of combination. Is any rules of combination of two of two elements of two elements of a given of a given set I, 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 let's just say of a, of a given set if you want to use of a given set you can actually just say of a given non set non empty set no empty set is different from set empty set is also the same thing as a null set right so uh, a binary operation is any rules of combining of combination of two elements of a given non empty set non empty set yeah not empty set and i think this is a, is a best definition is the is a best definition a binary operation is any rules of combine of combination of two elements of a given non empty set let's say you have set x set x include um uh, we have a b and c can I sit down now? And all these are elements. Why this are what this is a set? Why all this is what is a element? Now, rules of combining a let's say we have asterisk b equals to what c. So, the combination of these two elements and then it gives us what c that's also called binary operation. And we are familiar with different operations. We have uh, that of addition, we have that of uh, division. We have that of um, that subtraction. We have that of what multiplication, and so on like that. And we also have the what, the asterisk. Most times, asterisk also denotes what multiplication sign. So another thing we need to know under introduction of binary operation is that we need to know some properties of binary operation. That is, uh, what it works with rules of rules that is guiding the combination of two elements together. So what are these rules? The first thing is that we have the what the Commutative property. Commutative property. Commutative property. Now, as far as this commutative property is concerned, commutative property is let's say we have a given a give let's say we, we are given a non-empty set X. Given a non-empty set S. Set S which is closed which is closed what i mean by which is closed is that uh, uh all member of a b c if a star b is equal to c that means a star b is also closed under what under s because you can find c in what in uh, you can find c c is also an element of what of set x shake it down since a star b is equal to c that means it is what this operation is what is closed under set x now, given a non-empty set S, which is closed under what? Under a binary, which is closed under under a binary operation operation star. Yeah. If for all, if for all A B is a member of X, therefore A star B is equal to what B star A. Very simple. Look at this. 
if you are given a non-empty set X, and which is closed under a binary operation, that is, it is closed under a, uh, the binary operation as I explained earlier, operations that if for all A, B is a member of X, that means our A star B is your cost was B star A. Now, let's just say we have us, we have A equals to 2, we have uh, B equals to what? Theory, right? And we have our set S. Set S is a, what? Is a, is a set of all real number. Set of all real number. Let me just turn it as a set of all real number. No, we are talking about all real number. We are talking about one, two, and so on like that. We have a equals to two and b equals to three. Now, if our two star three equals to what three star two, look at this one. Two star three is what that's six. Why three star two is what is six? Since this is equals to this, that means the operation is what is competitive. And the thing is that six is also part of what of all real number. Since this is part of, it's also part of all real number. You can just see, six, three, two star three equals to three star two is a commutative property. Now the next property that we should consider here is that we should consider uh, that's the distributive property. You have distributive property. Distributive property. Now as far as distributive property is concerned. That one is also uh, somehow simple. The thing is that if we have element A, we have element B and C is a member of us, of X, of course. A, B, C, element A, B, C is a member of what? Of X. Therefore, our A star what? A star B plus C will be equal to what? A star B plus what? Plus B star what? Plus B star C. Can you see it now? Or what you should see just yeah, is actually is making sense. We have A star B plus what plus C equals to A star B plus B star C. Yeah, it's the same thing. Now let's just consider our element A. Our set X is the set of real number, and we have our element A to be 2, our element B to be 3, and our element C to be what to be 4. Now proving this, we have our two star. B, which is 3 plus what plus 4, must be equal to look at this. We are having 2 star, what's our B? 3 plus our B is actually 3 star what? 3 star C, which is 4. So here we'll be having 2 star 7, must be equal to what? Um, this is actually what this stars 6 plus what? 3 star that's 12. Times it down. 2 star 7 is what? 2 star 7 is 14. Must be equal to what? Must be equal to that uh, 6, star, 6 plus 12, which is what? Which is 18. This is not equal to 18. It's not equal to 18. It should be 2 star, okay? Operation, yeah, yeah, it's just uh, so much. Just know so that what the major factor is that if you're having A star B star C, this A will be distributed, distributed to what? To B, operation C, and also what? Operation B, and also operation C. Show that we have A star B plus what? Plus plus A star what star C. Actually, it should be A. That is where the mistake comes from. It should be A. Now, let's see. If this is A, that would be what? That would be 2, right? 2, stars, two star 4 is what? It's 8. Can you see now? Yeah, I've adjusted the mistake. Then 6 plus A should give us what? 14. That means the operation is what? It's distributive. The operation is distributive. So that just need to know that, okay, if we are having A star B, or C and close in the brackets, that means your A will be distributed to what distribute to your B and also to your what C. Now another operation that we should consider another property that we should con like we should consider here that's um we have the associative property. Yeah we have associative property associative property so as far as associative property is consigned let's say uh if we have what we have elements, if we have elements A star B star C, A star B star C, it should also be the same thing as that as writing A star B closes inside bracket star what star C. Can I sit down? So this operation is said to be to be associative. If your a star b enclosed in the brackets b star c is equal to what a star b enclosed in the brackets star c. Now let's just consider we have let's say you have uh, mm, a to be equal to three, 
our b to be equal to 4 and our c to be equal to what? 5. Now I want to check if the operation is what is a sheet property. Then fixing this property inside is that we have what theory star b which is 4 star c which is our 5 equals to what um my a should be that's theory star b which is 4 star c which is 5. Now solving this you have what you have a theory star c as 4 star 5 is actually 20, right? Equals to uh this three star c that's three star so that's 12 star 5. Now going again, you have three asterisk 20 equals to what 12 asterisk 5. And on the left hand side and on the right hand side, you'll be adding what 60 equals to what 60. Can that the operation is what is associative? So that's just it on that sheet property. Then another thing we need to consider is the identity and also what and also uh, inverse elements. Identity elements and also inverse elements. Now, according to our identity elements, we have identity elements. Identity elements. Most times, identity elements comes with table. You no, know? you, you can just say you can like, just give you a table and say compute the table under. Uh, Modulo 5, right? Yeah? And then we ask to find to check if the operation is closed. Don't worry, we are still moving, we are still moving. I'm, I'm coming to close your property. Uh check if the operation is closed, then check if there exists an identity element and if there exists an inverse element. You see this identity element and also inverse element, they work hand in hand. You know, let's say you have what you have something like under identity element, we have what we have a star e equals to what equals to a. The main factor is just that just not e is just what uh the value of e doesn't affect what that doesn't affect the value of what of a that means we can just call our e to be equal to what zero because if a is zero if e is zero here okay here under operation star e should be what should be one can you see that because a star one will give us what a but let's say under operation uh under additive operation let's say a star e equals to a in this case our a will be what our e will be equal to zero E is zero here because a star zero because what e can you see this now? So most times in identity element works with what with operation star means star most times because uh you can actually relate it with uh you can relate it from identity element you can relate identity element with inverse element using operation star she get down there is no inverse element for operation uh, for additive operation so now let's say under um uh, inverse element In the case we have what we have uh, a star e here, right? A star e equals to what equals to a. Then in this case, in our inverse case, it will be a star a inverse equals to what equals to e. A star a inverse equals to e. That's just it. In order for you to find inverse element, just not uh, your what your a star a inverse is equals to what equals to e. And you know for us, you to find your identity element, just not your your a star e equals to what equals to a. Can answer this situation. So, in this case, identity elements works with what with additive property. Just not in, when you are asked to calculate for the uh, identity elements, your e is going to be equal to zero because it must not affect the value of what of a. In order for you to get a, a star a star e equals to a, a um, additive e equals to what equals to a. That will be under asterisk. Your e should be what one. Your e can be any any value. Yeah, you can be any value. Provided they ask to compute the table, don't worry. We we are still going to move to that side. So we have your one under um aesthetic property and also your what your zero under what additive property. Now let's check the last one, which is called what the clear property. Clear property. We have clear property. Under this case, let's say a non-empty set is said to be closed under a binary operation. If and only if, if and only if all member of A, all elements A, B, and is a member of what of S. That's what we call. That's what we mean by what by um clear property. That is clear property is just a property of, whereby let's say you have your um if you are asked to comp, like let's say find clear properties to check if the table is a, is closed under operation star and also under additive word, operation. Check it down. And uh, we have some sets. It says I have a set X to be equal to what to be uh, all 
all real number sets of all real numbers and in this case we are asked to calculate no a closed property is just a what is a non-empty set is and, and uh if and only if a b is a member of x that means what is a it's a closure of property now in this case our s is what is set of all real number then we have our a to be what to be two our b to be what to be three that's that now two star three equals what Two star three is six, and we know that our set is what our our x set s is is, is a set of all real number. Six is also a what a real number. That means in this case, uh, your two star three the operation is what is close under um commutative property because this is a commutative property. That's just it. No, let's say you have what you have a star what star a a star b equals what b star what star a. Can see this now? So in this case, this is two star three equals to what? Equals to three star what? Star two. This is actually a commutative property. Then two star three is what? Six equals to six. So this operation is said to what? To be closed under set set x because set x what? Is a set of all real numbers. So I hope you find this video useful. Don't worry, I'm going to prove the one of how to compute a table in a separate video. So and more of this is coming i'm going to solve rigorous questions under it don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and click on the notification button so whenever i post any video you'll be notified you'll be the first person to notify and make sure you comment if you comment as well ask question i'm going to reply you drop your comments everything on the comment inside the comment box below thanks for watching